So it has been brought to my attention that I talk a lot and allegedly, supposedly, I talk too much in my YouTube videos. And there are a lot of people that are watching my older videos and they're making comments. Some of the comments are good, some are bad, but I read all the comments and this one stands out to me because I've gotten this like multiple times and it's that you talk too much, stop talking so much. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about why I talk so much because when I thought about it, I actually have three, three valid reasons for talking so much, allegedly, supposedly, because I don't consider myself to be a talker. Now, when I was growing up, I always considered myself an introvert because I really don't talk a lot. But now I've realized that maybe I'm not an introvert. Maybe it's just that the conversations that were going on around me, I was either not interested in them or I just didn't have anything to add, so I just stayed silent. And it's kind of like me right now. If you ever meet me in person, I'm, for the most part, 95% of the time or more, I'm a silent guy. I don't talk a lot. Now, there are three reasons why I talk so much on my channel, right? I'm gonna break it down for you. So, if there's anything that you ever wanna tell someone, there's always gonna be a short way to tell them and a long way to tell them, right? So, if I wanted to tell you guys about the best bank accounts in December 2022 uh, that I think you guys should sign up for, then I could come out here and I could say, hey, use these bank accounts to save your money, right? I could go and I could say short version, first you're gonna do bank number one, then you're gonna do bank number two, then you're gonna do bank number three, and I could go down the list, and then boom, video done, 30 seconds to 60 seconds, I'm done talking, you got all the info and you're like, yes, Ian, great, you're finally talking less and getting to the point, but here's the thing, there's one big problem with short form content like that, and this is why I think TikTok and also IG Reels and stuff like this is bad, because when you do short form content, you can't put like a lot of perspective in there and there's a lot of things that will be missing and it's kind of misleading. So for example, I was watching this reel of this guy last night who is a self-proclaimed credit expert and he's selling a course that's going to teach you and anybody who watches him how they can use their credit cards to make millions in cash, basically overnight. And this was a short reel and basically his first idea right, was take your credit card, go swipe it, get a cash advance. I know that's a terrible idea. The second mastermind idea that he had was to do manufactured spending. And I watched the reel and I was like, this is terrible advice. But then I realized that a lot of people in the comments were like, wow, I'm gonna try this. I'm definitely gonna do this now. And here's the thing, what he was saying isn't actually factually incorrect. What are you saying is correct? You can take your credit card, you can go to the ATM or the bank, and you can do a cash advance and you'll get cash, right? You can also do manufactured spending, buy gift cards, whatever you wanna do, and you'll make even more cash. So he is correct, he is telling the truth. You can do that stuff and you can literally turn your credit cards into cash. However, because the content is so short, he's missing a couple of important points, which is leading his audience in the wrong direction. After you pull all this cash from your credit card, who's gonna pay the 26.79% in interest that is calculated daily, and if you max out your credit cards, after a couple months, this debt is going to be astronomically high. You may have to file for bankruptcy because there may be no way for you to actually pay this off and get this debt under control. So that was just bad advice or a bad reel. Now, giving him the benefit of the doubt, maybe in a longer form content, he would have given the pros and cons. And so on my channel, I try to always give pros, cons, the good, the bad, so people watching will be like, oh wow, this is a great idea. But then I do the cons and they're like, oh okay, maybe I should do some more research to see if this is something that I should actually do. So that's the first thing. I wanna give you guys the full picture of anything that I'm talking about, or as much as I possibly can, right? And that is why when I decide to make a video about something, I usually go on at least google.com and do some quick research to find if there's anything that I'm missing that would be good for you to know. 
right? So that's number one. You can't always give good, valuable information in short form of content. So I'm not gonna come in here and make one minute videos because there's so much to say, right? Now, the second thing is this. I'm talking about something on YouTube that I actually like talking about. You could consider this my hobby. Now, think about it. Where else can you actually get paid to do a hobby? And you're doing the hobby and you're getting paid, but you're not actually doing like hard labor intensive work. You're just talking about the hobby and you're getting paid. So if your hobby is, let's say your hobby is doing something that requires like physical work. Let's say your hobby is creating furniture, right? You create chairs and tables and whatever you want and that's fun for you. And at the end, what are you gonna do? You may auction them on eBay. And maybe you'll lose some money, maybe you'll make some, but that's your hobby. However, my hobby is making videos talking about personal finance. And so when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, well, what am I gonna do today? I'm like, oh, you can go make a video and you can talk about this credit card or this bank. And guess what, bro? You're gonna get paid to talk. So it's literally a win-win. I'm getting paid to talk about something that I actually want to talk about. And I don't have anywhere else to talk about it. So <laughs> I have to come on YouTube and talk about it because this is the only place I can talk about it. I'm getting paid as a bonus. So that's the second reason why allegedly, supposedly, I talk so much. Now, the third reason why I talk so much apparently is because, well, it's kind of like a part of the second reason. I get paid to talk, right? So if my video idea, this is like doing this video right now. I'm talking about why people say I talk so much, which is going to generate me income for also talking, if that makes sense. So I wanna do a video, I research a topic, and in my mind I'm like, wait a second, I need to do some more research because I want to create as much content as I possibly can because this is no longer just a hobby. This is a business now. It makes me money. Just to give you perspective, my first year on YouTube when I made a video every single day, I made like 600 bucks, $690 that year. Not a lot of money by a stretch, right? However, the second year, the videos that I made the year before started getting a lot of views. And that year I made, I believe it was around 37, somewhere around there, $37,000. And in my mind, I was like, wow, you mean that all I gotta do is talk and I'll be up an extra 37,000, almost $40,000 per year? And that will increase over time? So when I saw that, I was like, well, I need to start talking more. And not only should I start talking more, I need to start talking for longer because YouTube rewards content creators that talk a lot. That is why your favorite YouTuber has like five different channels. like. And this is something that I researched because I was watching another YouTuber and every single video, he does one to two videos per day. And these are not 10 minute videos. Every single video he does is at least 30 minutes. And I'm like, how do you talk for 30 minutes about one thing? And then I realized that it's actually very easy. Just keep talking, <laughs> right? Now, this is not to waste your time, right? Obviously, I don't want to waste anyone's time. So. And basically the niche that my channel is in is you can consider it educational content or entertainment, but usually in my videos, you're either learning something if you're watching. So if you click on one of my videos and you start watching and you're like, oh, I already know this, then obviously you're gonna click off the video, go watch something else. But if you start watching my videos and you're actually watching to the end, that means I'm saying something that is really interesting to you and you want to listen because you wanna hear more or maybe you don't like my videos, maybe you don't like my content and you're just watching and you're like, this guy's making a fool of himself because he's been saying the same thing for the past two years, right? So either way, if you like my videos and you're watching because you think you're learning something or you're just interested in what I'm saying or you don't like my channel, which is another thing I found out on YouTube, people will watch one video they leave a comment saying something nasty like on a lot of my older videos and then they'll go and watch another video and then they'll make the same nasty comment 
And then to me, it's like, well, if you watch my content and you didn't like my content and you didn't like the delivery and you didn't like anything about my delivery, why did you go and watch a second piece of content to comment the same thing and then do it a third time and a fourth time? But then I realized maybe to them, they, you know, they take it as entertainment. They're like, oh, this guy's making a fool of himself. So they keep watching, but they keep watching and they keep insulting me and they keep saying, well, you talk too much, but on the other end, I'm the one laughing because I'm getting paid, right? So like I said, I never knew this before. I still don't consider myself a talker, but apparently I talk too much. And if you ever watch my videos and you're like, bro, get to the point, you talk too much. Well, these are the three main reasons. Number one, short form content will not give you the full picture and could mislead you or just not give you enough info for you to make a decision. Because I know that while my channel is not financial advice, and I always say disclaimer, this is not financial advice, just my own opinions, people are gonna watch and they're going to somewhat be influenced by some of the stuff that I say, just as any other YouTuber that they watch. And secondly, I get paid to talk, so I'm gonna talk, right? And thirdly, think about it. What YouTuber doesn't talk a lot? Even if they start out making like one to two minute videos, eventually they start talking a lot. That's what they do. They, they try to stay on YouTube for as long as possible because the longer they stay on, the more money they make from ad revenue and also the algorithm rewards people that have longer content and more content. It's just the way it works in the world of content creation. If you ever become a YouTuber, which I think you should, then you're gonna realize very quickly that if you don't like to talk a lot, then you're gonna be forced to talk a lot. So if you're about to start a YouTube channel, I would say this, ensure that whatever you're making this channel or whatever you're gonna be talking about is something that you actually enjoy to a certain degree because you're gonna have to talk a lot, right? Unless you're like, Adam from No Jumper, right? Because that guy, like I was watching an interview he did recently and he was the host of the show and there were two guys arguing, they actually got in a fight, but he was just there asking questions and he was like, oh yeah, yeah. And the guys were going back and forth and that's great. He wasn't gonna stop them from going back and forth because guess what? The longer they do that, the more money he earns. So from a business perspective, it would be wise for him to just continue, you know, asking questions and allowing them to talk on and on and on and on again. And this is why you watch content on YouTube or Facebook where the content is, let's say entertaining because there's no real value. It's just like people making a fool of themselves, like some of these calling shows. Um, and you'll be like, do people really want to show up on the internet and make a fool of themselves like this? But guess what? The content creators, don't mind it and they don't mind looking stupid themselves because guess what? It pays and it pays big bucks. So again, if you ever wondered why I make so much content or why I talk so much, allegedly, supposedly, this is why. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys soon in the next one.